And mm -hmm. that's one of the things like that I want to talk about is our urban fishery. Over by like Edson Fisher, like we, you kind of mentioned earlier, um, I mean that section of river through there, I've caught more trout than I have carp through over there. I mean I definitely, you know, there's a lot of carp in that system, but I know a lot of guys that put a lot of hours of just fishing just on that little, you know, the path all the way to the golf course and through the oh. golf course and that kind of stuff. I mean it has a great habitat. I floated from the bridge over by the dump by Century all the way down to Edson Fitcher and you know I fished it a little bit but it was more or less just curious what there was and like the structure and you know the I guess the type of water where you would find trout that's very plentiful through that and then you also have you know Mead Creek and Gibson Jack dumping in to both of those right through there which is awesome and a lot of those fish use those for spawning purposes and stuff like that. Now what about have you fished the section from Edson Fisher to the charter school, that bridge at the charter school? I've, I've seen people fishing in there a little bit. I fished bit. it once. I mean, it was. I haven't really put a lot of hours in there. That's one of the places that I actually want to put some time this summer and really, I mean, one for, I mean, the carp and that kind of stuff to see if, you know, they come up through there. But I have some uh, buddies from high school, you know, throwing spinners and worms and like that kind of stuff. And they say, I mean, they always come back with decent reports. Um, not a lot of cutties, but I mean, a lot of your rainbows and stuff like that that you're seeing through there. But you're finding some browns and some cuts through there as well. OCO, this is Magpie Waters. I just got back from a camping trip and just wanted to include on my fishing report on the Portner River that I did see a bunch of little trout jumping up um, there's a possibility they might be cuts it could be browns too but they had a lot of red underneath them so I don't know I want to throw a shout out to Brandon at Snake River Fly Shop for uh, doing such a great interview and providing so much information to uh, the people of Pocatello